In this video, I'm going to show you how to repair a naked or cash secure put option that's gone against you. Here you see our trades in T-Row, ticker symbol T-R-O-W, over the past couple of years. I want to focus though on the yellow portion of this Excel spreadsheet because these are the most recent trades we've done in T-Row and it's actually a position that went against us. I want to talk you through what we did to repair this position so that actually today we're in a position we can close this out for an awesome profit. So notice here in T-Row that we sold our first cash secured put option in T-Row here recently on February 14th. Let's take a look at the chart to kind of see what's going on with T-Row since February 14th. So here you see the four charts of T-Row, ticker symbol T-R-O-W. In the top left, you see the minute, the top right, the hourly, the bottom left, the daily, and the bottom right, the weekly. Where I have my cross here is, is February 14th when we entered this trade. Now, all the technical analysis looked good. It was in a nice uptrend. Everything looked good and great. Unfortunately, T-Row decided to decline from there. So we're in a position where we had sold the 110 put option, but unfortunately, T-Row had gone in the money on us. It actually went as low as around $100 per share, down about $102 per share. So how can we fix this cash secure put option? And if you watch my channel, you know I always like to pocket cash. So how can we fix this cash secure put option and still put some cash into our pocket? So now we fast forward on our daily chart to March 13th, the day we rolled this option. Notice that T-Row is trading right at $106 per share. So our 110 strike price cash secure put option was about $4 in the money. Here's the alert I sent out to my patrons as soon as I knew this trade went through. Notice that on March 13th, we rolled the T-Row March 17th 110 cash secure put option out and down to April 21st, 105. We actually pocketed right at a quarter, 26 cents per share. So we're able to roll the strike price down from 110 per share down to 105 per share by going out one month. We still walked away with a little bit of a credit of 26 cents per share minus commission. So now T-Row was in a better position for us. Notice we rolled our strike price down from those 110 area down to 105. And as you can see, as of today, T-Row is trading right at 112 per share. So the 105 put option that we sold is actually out of the money by $7. And here you see that position, that T-Row April 21st 105 put position. We still have nine days left until expiration. Now that position is down about 55 cents to 80 cents per share. So still got a decent bit of time value left in it. So I'm gonna let this position roll for now and close it out later. But this is a nice example of one quick and easy way that you can kind of turn back time and roll your cash secure put option positions down while you roll them out to improve your position, in this case, almost by 5%. And we we're still able to pocket some cash when we did that. Now, while we're on this T-Row screen, I wanna answer a question I get asked quite often. And that's when a position has gone against you, when should you roll that position out? When you have a position that's gone against you, one thing you really wanna keep a close eye on is how much time value is left in the position. Now, as long as dividends aren't approaching, you can typically look at the corresponding option to tell you how much time value is left in the position. For example, let's go back to our T-Row trade here. Now, I currently see T-Row is trading for around $112 per share. So if we look at the $120 cash secure put option, so that option is selling for around $8.25 per share. Now it's showing there's actually no time value left in this position, but if we look over here at the corresponding call option, so that call option is selling for about 15 cents to 40 cents per share. So it's somewhere around 30 cents per share is about the amount of time value left in the call option. And as long as there's no dividends approaching, then it's safe to assume that's about how much time value is left in the put option as well. Because of that, as you can see here, when I'm in a position, for example, let's look at our position in CHRW that we just rolled a couple of days ago. So we rolled the April cash secure put option out and down to May. This is actually another position that had gone against us that we've been rolling down. So just to kind of give you a little background story, we rolled the April 21st, 97 and a half dollar cash secure put option out and down to May 19th, $95. So we improved the strike price by $2.50 per share but I didn't pocket much on it. It was around 60 cents per share. So I have an alert set right now so that when this cash secure put option that we sold in CHRW gets down to six cents per share, then we'll get an alert. And correspondingly, I also did that same alert on the call option because if this $95 cash secure put option is in the money, then the value will never get down to six cents per share because you have not only extrinsic value or time value, but you also have the amount that the options in the money or the intrinsic value. That's why I go ahead and set alerts on both the call and the put option at the same expiration date and at the same strike price, like you see we've done here with CHRW. So if you wanna know when the time value is pretty much gone, if you have the ability to in your brokerage, go ahead and set an alert for when that time value gets down to at least five or 10 cents per share. For some people, they may wanna get an alert when it's higher than that, 
but I prefer to look to adjust positions when the time value is about 10% of what we received when we entered the trade. Once that time value is down to about 10% of how much we received when we entered the trade, and if it's in the money, we really begin to look for a good opportunity to roll that position in such a way that we'll improve the position. Most likely with a cash secured or naked put option, we'd be trying to roll that strike price down as we rolled it out. Now let me show you another position that's going against us because it'll help you see how to approach a position that's going against you kind of in a bigger way. So here you see our current position in DLR, Digital Realty Trust. Notice that we've sold the DLR April 21st 100R put option and that expires in nine days. The problem is that DLR is currently trading for under $95, so it's over 5% over $5 in the money. Another challenge you see here is that if we go to our Strategy Builder tab, if we go to buy back this $100 strike price that we sold, so it costs us about $6 to buy that back. When we try to roll it out to May, we see the $95 cash secure put option is not selling for enough. If we sold that, and as you can see here, Interactive Brokers are telling us that it costs us about 95 cents per share to try and roll that out one month and down by $5. So that won't work because we wanna try and pocket some money every time we roll an option, even the ones that go against us. So let's go out to the next expiration date, which notice we're going from 37 days out to 100 days, so we're now about three months out. So we're going out to the July 21st expiration day. And notice that when we do that, if we sell the $95 cash secure put option, now notice what happens. Now it says that we should be able to pocket a credit of about $1.90 per share. So keep in mind that when you have a position that's gone against you, even ones that have gone against you in a pretty big way, sometimes you might have to go out more than just one month in order to roll that strike price down, improve your position, decrease your risk, all while pocketing some additional cash. Another tip I want to share with you to help repair cash secure put options or naked put options that go against you is to always leave yourself room to add to your position. Notice that in addition to the $100 cash secure put option that expires in April, we're also in the $95 covered call in DLR. And the reason I was able to do that is because when I initially started selling cash secure put options against DLR, I only did a half position size. See, my personal rule is to have at most 5% at risk in any one position. So if my capital is $100,000, then I at most want to have $5,000 at risk in any one ticker symbol. Now this account I'm showing you here is quite a bit larger than that. I do have a smaller account in which we have only about $30,000 in that account. And our position size ruling is a little bit different. We can't adhere to that 5% rule. So it's more like a 15% rule in that account. But in this larger account, I like to keep my overall position size for each ticker symbol to 5% or less. Now this account currently has over a million dollars set aside for it. That means if we were working with a million dollar account size, we'd have at most $50,000 in any one position. And here you see with DLR that if you add these positions up, we're in four contracts of about $100 per share, that would equal about $40,000. Now what this allows you to do is initially when we we're selling the cash secure put options that we eventually let be assigned to us, it gave us the ability to let those cash secure put options that had gone against us be assigned to us and then aggressively sell covered call options against it. If DLR began to move back up, then we could sell additional cash secure put options to help fund rolling that covered call strike price up if we believe that was in our best interest. So by having half position sizes, which in my case, since I have a 5% rule, I try to have around two to 3% in any one position at a time that hasn't gone against us. That leaves me an additional two to 3% available to help prepare a position like DLR when they go against you. That extra two to 3% It'll let you sell additional cash secure put options and it'll also allow you to be more aggressive in selling your covered call strike prices to collect as much cash as possible to decrease your overall out-of-pocket cash on this position. Now let me show you why that's so powerful. So here you see that we were assigned 200 shares of DLR. We're assigned them at $136 per share, so a lot higher than the current $95 per share it's trading at. So what does our profit and loss look like on DLR? Here you see a list of all the trades we've done in DLR over the past couple of years. Now to keep it simple, I just wanna focus here on the bottom. Notice that overall, for these 200 shares that we were assigned, back here on May 22nd, notice that we're only out of pocket $16,000. So basically $8,000 per 100 shares, which equates to right at $80 per share. So even though our initial out-of-pocket cost was $140 per share, with some put options we've been selling, Interactive Brokers saying our cost basis was $136 per share, we are actually in a very profitable position because of all the cash secure put options we've been selling in it, the covered call positions we've been selling in it, and the ability to be aggressive when it comes to selling our covered call strike prices 
because we have extra position sizing available to add cash secure put options to the position, which gives the cash flow to adjust our cover call position if DLR begins to look strong and begins to go back up. Notice that ever since October, we've been selling covered call options in the 90 to $95 strike price area. And as a result, during that time, we've decreased our out-of-pocket calls from 19,000 down to $16,000 for these 200 shares. Making sure you have extra position sizing available is one very powerful tool you can use to repair cash secured and naked put option positions when they go against you. If you'd like to get an alert whenever we do trades, like the ones I mentioned in the video, like the ones you see here on the screen that we did yesterday when we sold a cash secured put option in PAYX paychecks in which we pocketed $2.05 per share, please check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see how much we pocket on a monthly basis by selling options, check out the video series at the link above in the description below entitled Option Trading Monthly Cash Flow. Until next time, happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.